guys welcome back to the course so in this particular tutorial we are going to be designing the student login page okay so so far uh, let's look at what we have so far so so far this is what we have okay this is a demo template and they are going to be customizing this to look like the original okay the one uh, in the demo that we showed earlier now first of all i'm going to get rid of this image here i do not like it but you can leave the image if it's okay for you okay now to get rid of this image i'm going to quickly inspect this i'll inspect this to find where the image is lying okay it's below v with the class of register dash form so i'll go to my code and of course this is it here i'm going to click on this so first of all, I am going to do some certain editing here. So I'm going to get rid of all of this, first of all. Get rid of that. Now, I'm going to change this title. I'm going to change the title to so, KLC Web Solutions Academy. Results checking portal. Okay, and of course, I will add this additional to now. The next thing I want to do here also, I need to work on the keywords, work on the keywords as well. So, I don't want this. Um, let's put a little bit empty. I don't have okay. Let's write results checking checking application. That should be fine. So moving down uh, before we come to edit this section, I want to remove that particular image. And uh, where is it? Okay, that this is it. So I'm going to just get rid of this particular section here. I will comment it in case you guys want to work with it. I will comment it, then go back to our page and of course refresh. Okay, you can see the image is gone. So we don't have it there any longer, it's gone. So the next thing we want to do now is to come back to this particular section here that says education appointment form. We're going to change this head one, page one rather, to welcome to Portal. Now this will rename this one to so please log in with your portal username and reg number. To continue, okay. All right, so let's rephrase this again. The plans we we'll have, yep, okay. This is making sense now. Uh, I don't need some of this uh, form field here, like the title. I don't need it. I don't need the phone number. I don't need the course. I don't need the how would you like to conduct our section. So I'm gonna get rid of what I don't need here, starting with the title. So first of all, I'm going to select the title, which is uh, this. So I'm going to get rid of that title section there. And of course, I will the name I'll leave. Email I'll be using as page number. So phone number. 
has to go and uh, this also has to go I need it for now then how would you like to be contacted then we have this one too and select this to make it end highlight delete and spam and uh, okay we still have this here okay Deliver this to me Let's see what we have so far. Refresh the page. What do we have? So we have just a name and email, and we need it to be username and reg number. So let's quickly do more editing there. So back to our code. First of all, here I'm going to change this to 2019. And uh, I'm gonna copy this. I'm gonna copy that. Then there is this design by. Let me put my link here. And the site name should be here as well. Just copy this and uh, paste it in. Okay. Okay. Now on this section, I'm going to write instead of your name. So I'm going to add username here. So it's the username. So name equals username and uh, here I'm going to do the type of password and name equals red number okay so here I'm going to write uh, enter red number Okay, let's refresh this. Okay. Alright, I think we're good to go. Red number username. Alright. So uh is there any other thing we need to do here? Yes, 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 there is. We're going to change this test. The test on the submit button, sort of request an appointment, will be submit and of course continue. Okay, submit and continue. Okay, let's refresh the page as well. We have all right, good, submit and of course continue. Okay, so one last thing I want to do is to rename this file from HTML to dot HTML to a dot PHP file because we are working with PHP. So dot PHP, we give it some time to refactor. All right, and we should be good to go. Okay, now in the next uh, tutorial, I'm going to stop this video here. So in the next video, we're going to continue with coding the functionality, the login functionality of this particular uh, student index page. All right. So stay with me in the tutorial. Don't go anywhere, and I will see you in the next video.